Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials. Uh, today I'm doing a Throwback Thursday video, which is a detailed tutorial of a track called The Wreck uh, for a guy called Devin Deason? D yeah, D E A S O N? I think. Anyway, uh, Devin. Devin the Dude. It's actually a hip hop guy by that name. Uh, Devin the Dude, I am going to be uh, doing a detailed tutorial for The Wreck. This is one of my all-time favorite tracks. Um, I've said Trials and Tribulations uh, was one of them, uh, Reality Check from HD. Uh, the Wreck was up there as one of my favorite tracks from Trials Evolution. Um, from the first uh, obstacle here, now what you want to try, if you just sort of ride flat out, you see what happens if I just accelerate, you see what happens, the front wheel, the front wheel lifts up, bounces hard onto the ramp, and you can't even get onto the second pillar. What you need to do is, as you go over this crest, it's kind of tricky stuff, but as you go over the crest, you want to sit down to keep your rear wheel, or sorry, to keep your entire bike grounded as you go over this. And as you go down, by, by shifting your weight down here, you'll get a much better spring. So what I do, I actually give it a, just a little tap, accelerate, so tap, and see the rear wheel pops up, and then go down. So you just go tap, accelerate, sit down, and full throttle. So tap, sit down, full throttle, and it's just a matter of hopping on your rear wheel like that. I'll do it a few more times. So tap the throttle, sit down, and then accelerate. Tap throttle, sit down, accelerate, and then just just angle that rear wheel until you get over to this obstacle. Can't say it much more simply than that. From this one, uh, all I would do is just accelerate 100%, and then this, and this is look, this is an excellent example of how to land on a steep slope. Uh, if you haven't got that down, if you haven't got throttle control down, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, just accelerate, transfer body weight forward. So that's it again. Sit down over the rear wheel, just accelerate, and then lean forward. No more consistent than that, and this is just throttle control, right? Um, crucially, make sure you land with your rear wheel uh, slightly first, like again, I'll do it once more. Accelerate, and then forward. Rear wheel's touching just slightly forward. Making sure you time that right, so you, you don't want to over you don't want to overload the front wheel with too much of your body weight because you'll get the rear wheel off the tr off the ramp. Anyway, and then from here, now this is the other thing. If you just go flat out and keep, so at the moment I'm pressing hard to the right on the left analog stick and balancing my throttle. If I just accelerate flat out and keep doing that, my front wheel is going to go underneath here. So this is a technique I've also talked about previously. What you need to do is just, as you're going up the hill, you want to lift your front wheel. You do that by just letting go of the left analog stick. You don't have to do a bunny hop or anything, but just let go and then pull it up. Probably, to, if I'm honest, probably about halfway, three quarters of the way up the ramp before you want to let go of the left analog stick. And just enough to lift your front wheel. So there, lift and back on it. It's that subtle. that subtle so here let go and back one it's a split second but you should get up uh, using that technique with this one as you can see there's a there's a log there I was gonna see if I could like do some cool wheelie stand on it um, there's a log in the middle here uh, funnily enough no matter how long that fire goes for it never burns but um, what you want to try and do here is um, do a rear wheel hopping over the key thing is just make sure you start don't start with your rear wheel down in this little groove get up onto the flat section from a neutral position nice big bunny hop up and over do it a few more times nice big bunny hop up and over so it's left right left but make sure you're seated as you hit the as you hit that log make sure you're uh, seated because you want to be able to uh, uh, spring off the other um, uh, off the other log Sorry, slight sound check. Seeing if Micro Shady was waking up. Next one. Um, let me go consistency. All right. So if you just hit it flat, if you just yeah. All right. This is the thing, right? I always talk about sort of managing your transitions into ramps. If you just accelerate here, so your front wheel lifts up, it bounces hard, and it rotates you by. It bounces hard into the lower ramp and bounces you backwards. You can make the gap, but it's kind of ugly. What you want to try and do is, as you as you're going through this transition from the flat land to the the steep portion, you want to start in a neutral position. You actually want to lift your front wheel up. Uh, sorry, you want to sit back on the bike just at that time. You're going over that gap there, and what? See how that? See how I can actually lift the front wheel up to to meet, sort of meet the angle. 
So that's that's the technique you want to do. Neutral position here. Uh, sit down on the bike, and you sort of you sit down to accelerate, and then lean forward. You make that so much better. And it's just about managing that transition. So from here, sit down, and then lean forward. And all you're trying to do is get your front wheel to not hit that the sharpest portion of that angle. Once you're here. Um, I think with this too, what you need to do is lean, so throttle control to hold yourself in place. Uh, lean to the left with the left analog stick to lift the front wheel up as you accelerate. And then only when your front wheel gets enough height to get over that ledge, you want to start pressing forward and then let your momentum and body weight carry over. It's as simply as I can explain it. I'll see if I can land on it. Yep. So again, seated position, I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is flick to the left and then to the right straight away. So your left, right, up and over. But the key thing is press left because you want to lift your front wheel up. This one, um now I think I've even done a tutorial for this one before. Um everyone has a tendency to see a gap and think they have to bunny hop. What you don't realize is that that uh, curved piece of plywood is actually lower than your current driving line. So all you need to do is just lift your front wheel up and accelerate. And you're up and over here. Um, sit down on the bike, lift to so press to the left as you go. Accelerate at about 60, 70 percent, maybe. You'll have to just get it right. And all you want to do is that you just want to hop off and up and over. So probably don't need to dwell on it too much. Um, the rear wheel hops is really just about your your bike's rotation and getting a feel for it. There's no simpler way to do it. There's no consistent way. You just need to get the timing of the speed right. But crucially. Don't do a bunny hop at the start, just lean backwards and 60-70% uh, throttle. Uh, from this one here, the challenge you've got is if you just if you just run this ramp flat out, you don't get the height. So what you need to do here is as you get to pretty much the start of that log, you actually want to lean back and then do a bunny hop on your way up, right? So from a neutral position, get up, and then you want to sit down and bunny hop up. I don't think there's any way for me... There is a way for me to get back down here and show you again. Um, yeah, so what you want to do, neutral position, accelerate at 100%. As you get to about this portion of the rant on the uh, log, you want to sit down and lift your front wheel up. And then as you get to the water end, flick your body weight forward, and that should get you up and over. Anyway. I did it previously. You get the idea. Um, with this one, all I do here is actually just uh, lean forward on the bike, accelerate flat out, and look at that. That's it. Just lean forward and go. So whether or not I stop from the previous transition or I carry all the way forward, just lean forward, hit it full throttle, and you'll make it straight through. This one's really tricky, and the reason it's tricky is because you've got this overhanging barrel here. So it's a again, and what what seems intuitive is that you ride up here and then try and do a bunny hop, and that's kind of what you're doing. But there's a I guess easier way to do this. Um, Depending on how easy or hard you're finding this, there's a couple of different techniques. Um, for me, I usually do that one, where I sort of uh, get the front wheel up and then uh, use the brake to sort of do an endo, an endo and uh, shift my body weight fap if you need to when you get up the top. Um, uh, or the other way is if I'm having trouble getting that rotation, I'll actually start here leaning forward. As I get to the top of the plywood, you want to lift backwards, um, but I'll press to the left. What you're trying to do is lift your front wheel up and then uh, hitting it like that to get your the rest of you up and over so and see how it's just your body weight so start from a forward leaning position it's the most uh, consistent i think and lean back uh so what am i doing yeah so here left right and it's just about the timing to get your front wheel out of the way and then just hold on to the brake because once you get up here you get the angle right you should be able to yeah, bunny hop and get up and over. So I'll do it a few more times. But all it is from here, left, right, up, and then just tap brake to hold yourself. Like I said, on the on the barrel, you've got quite a lot of control. Even if you overshoot it like this, you can recover pretty easily. So don't feel too bad if you go too far. And then it's just a matter of getting the rotation right. Um, to to get from here over, so I'll do it one more time. So here you go, left, right, and you're up and over. It's really just around timing. Um, for this, you kind of want your front wheel slightly higher than your rear one, and then just do a, a nice confident bunny hop. And after that, throttle control when you land, so you don't go backwards and go like this. That hurts a bit. 
Poor squirrel face. Um, Alright, with this one. This is an awesome one. Alright. You can do this in two parts, right? You can get down onto here. And you can do that. Um, I advise against it. And I'll show you why. From here, if you start up, um, the angle... This is a shallower angle, right? If I'm on that other piece, it's a much steeper angle. The margin for error is much smaller. From this section here, what you're actually going to be doing is driving yourself into the ramp and using your momentum. Look at that. I actually used the, the force and momentum of me sort of pushing my bike into this steep ramp and use that to my advantage and use it to sort of bounce me up and over the, the other platform. So from here, lean forward. From here, lean forward 100%. And all you're doing is, as you hit, sit down over the bike, bunny hop. So it's so I start here, pressing to the right, and I go left, right, left. The key part, the absolute key part, whenever you're going on one of these steep overhanging ledges, is that you need to get your rear wheel out of the way. If you just go and bunny hop like that, your rear wheel will get hung up. Which I'll try and do a few of them, right? You are here, bunny hop. Yeah, your rear wheel gets hung up. And so many times you'll see people doing that. They'll get here and they'll try and do a bunny hop, but they'll leave. They'll 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 stay leaning forward, right? And the, I mean, yeah, okay. you can you can do it. It's harder. So what you want to try and do is there. You know, left, right, left, but quickly. As soon as soon as you lean forward, forward, and then get your back wheel out of the way. So by sitting back down over the bike, I've said this before. You actually lift the rear wheel back up under. So you do your bunny hop and then lift the back wheel up underneath you. But one more time. Because this is a, this is one of the hardest obstacles I think on the track. Lean forward, left, right, left, boom, boom. This is the, the finish line, and the reason why this one's hard is you're starting even with a bunny hop here. You're actually starting at a lower the uh, what was I going to say the uh, the the checkpoint is lower than the finish line. So what you need to do. I was hoping to get back. Um, what you need to do here is a couple of different ways. I, I find to be more consistent to actually start back here. Uh, so if you, if you faulted here and you're having trouble, I would start back here. By having your rear wheel lifted up a bit, it's interesting, but from a neutral position, if I sit down hard on the bike here, I can actually lift my front wheel up. You see that? Come on. Yes. Um, I can lift my front wheel up. So if I start from a flat position, there's a limit to how effective my bunny hop is going to be. If I start back here, the bunny hop is going to be so much more uh, higher because I'm able to lift my front wheel up much higher than I would otherwise. So from a new, so from a neutral position, from here, and all you're going to do is just press a little bit harder to the left than you otherwise would for the bunny hop, and bunny hop up, up and over. But crucially. Keep your rear wheel down. So I know before I said get your back wheel out of the way. I tend to find now you actually want to land with your rear wheel and chassis on on the vertical portion of it, and then use your body weight and then momentum. And that's the thing with the speed that you've got. It's almost like you ram your rear wheel into the the train carriage there. It acts as a pivot, and then your and, and then your, the chassis actually acts as a pivot on the corner of the train carriage to actually and your momentum carries you up and over if you, as long as you're leaning forward. So that's all it is. Big bunny hop, stand leaning forward, and over you go. So that was for Devin the dude. Devin the dude. I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you were able to go back and get. And I don't know if you're struggling on bronze, silver, platinum, gold, whatever. Let me know if that was helpful, my friend, Devin the Dude. And uh, yeah, I'll keep making more tutorials, guys. So uh, thank you very much. And thank you so much for asking me to do a track that I genuinely, you know, I love it. So I'm going to have another crack. All right, you guys can do what you want now. Oh, no. Nah. I've never, never, I was never able to get that transition to be super clean. Always jealous of other people that could. That's disappointing. I should have had that. And I should have had that.
Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I don't care. Seriously, video's finished, class is over. This is like where the teacher just sits back after class and tinkers with electronics. We'll say the 360 controller still was such a good controller. Not even fair, 38 damn seconds. I can do I can do better. I can do better. I'm telling you man, I love this track. That should have been a 32 second run. Alright, last one. You know what? I'll be happy with 38 because I've had some other videos to make. Like, I'm sorry, you've, you've seen me, you've seen me burn through the track, whatever. <sighs> How good is it? How good is this track? For me, apart, apart from this portion, that kills my speed run. I've just never been able to hit that consistently. Alright, whatever, I'm done. It's gonna get angry now because I messed it up. Damn it! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep making uh, more requests, whatever, and I'll keep making more videos. And thank you so much for the request for tutorials on Evo stuff. Um, it just gives me a great excuse to go back and play stuff. So if there's any others, <laughs> please let me know. I'll always go back. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.